So while I was waiting for Rebecca to untie the boat, I thought I'd have a quick couple of casts with the lures. There we go, look. Little baby bass, only a small one. I'm gonna pop him back now. I'll have another go. Set you up on the post, have a quick cast again. That fish literally hit that lure seconds after it landed in the water, that one. Oh, you've opened a bait bucket. I almost passed out. <laughs> smells like a compost even day, that thing. It must be a vegetarian fish. Maybe if it did drag, it would have picked, it was stopped, started, and hopefully picked up lobsters on the way, like a bus. Like a bus, you know? Tickets, please, and all that. Join the pot ride. <laughs> here it comes. And it's here. You might have a crab in this one. Might even be a spider. Might be a shank. That's the contrast. Yeah. Is there anything in well there is actually that one. I don't know though. Maybe that one in the corner there. You better start getting going on that, because yeah. we could be here sometime. See what you got. Did you get anything worth having? There is actually definitely size ones in there. It's whether they're worth taking yeah. and whether they are actually hard as well. Get the spiders out so we clear the area. The other zone. Tell you what, can you? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. You possibly turn the pot like that and empty it like that, please. That's it. Perfect. Then the viewers can see what you're doing. Otherwise, they just get a picture of your back. Or your ass. That one there on top, I reckon. That one is one of those ones that's come out of the of the Why are these buckets always so good? That one's alright. Yep. Put that one in the bucket for now. Whether we take it or not, we'll decide in a minute. We just want yeah. to take this, separate the biggest ones for now. We need actually just one. So we're going to go see which one's the biggest. I think that is the one. Uh, hold on. Put it in the bucket. Just chuck them in the bucket. All the larger ones, put them in the bucket. Because sometimes it's not always just about the size. Sometimes it's how hard they're grabbing. Yeah. 
In fact, if you put all the larger ones in the bucket, and we'll have a look at them as well. So the viewers can get a good old view of this. In fact, we'll put the gauges on it as well, on anything that's suspiciously... Uh, that one actually we'll throw back and the reason why is it's a little bit paler but it's it's a female as well so we'll that's a female as well so let so the females go, go yeah. yeah the other two are males so unless it's an, a big female big they can go back because right. yep Tip. Tip. that's the one I'm back, banking on down there that one was it maybe not actually it looked bigger than it was it he's probably a bit small but we'll see that is a male as well put, that in the put it put them all in the bucket we'll have a look at them then we'll throw them back and we'll just keep like say the biggest one yeah we're just getting a crab for somebody who wants one they don't want a too big one they just want one so we're gonna grab one of these. That one's going. That's back. two, but yeah, chuck it back. You might get them out if you uh, tip the pot up. I'll leave that one for now. Right, you're gonna need bait in that one for sure. Okay, so there we have it. There we have the. Uh, well, these are the biggest four. Um, let me get the. Uh, gauge and I'll just show you that they're probably all size this one might be under this one here let me see yeah that was that's that's borderline this one when you say like size crab I'm just watch my fingers because they're quite lively when they come out of the water about there is actually a size crab just about I mean it's borderline we're not gonna bother with it but you see how small that is I say these things can grow if you let these grow, I think the biggest in the world is like 20 odd pounds or something, or 19 pounds or something crazy. Or the world record that they know of. But I mean, these could quite easily get up to sort of 10, 15 pounds. Right. That's not even a pound, probably. Um, so we're probably going to keep this one here, I would have thought. That will go back, and that one will go back, probably. Let me just check with the gauge again. Got to watch because we've come up to pots. Yeah, see, that's well over. That's well over, and that's on the side again, so anyway, we'll chop them back. Yeah. I'll leave those two, and we'll leave it up to Rebecca to decide, because the one that's slightly bigger is nice, but the one that's slightly smaller has a harder shell. So we'll look at which one's got the, the best claws, the best shell, the hardest one, and we'll keep that up. Right, we ready to go? Yep. Ready to go. So where are we going to put this? We're going to put it back somewhere similar to that. Please don't catch, we might move these somewhere else because they've been doing really poorly recently. So, let's face it, there's only so many lobsters in a spot each time. So. Even though lobsters do move around a bit. Look at that wash back, look. That's what I said about the wash off that rock. When you get a big swell, it's a lot worse than that. It's coming. Here it comes. That is it, no bait and a baby one. Take it down for a minute.
Someone's spooked and no sugar by the wall coming out of the wall, that was. Is... Yeah, it looked bigger than that. I thought they were like the size of Mac or something. Or herrings or something. Oh, there we go again. Ooh, shot. You got a shot? Give me a shot. Maybe a tuna. Yeah, probably not a tuna. You never know though. Might be a bonita. Yeah. Oh yeah. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, it's mad. Oh. These are more like the strong and mac, not like the, the great big ones we get really well. Hardest fighting mackerel ever. I think there might be something else a bit bigger that might prey on the mackerel or might take the moon as well. It's a full cool line every time, but you know, I've only got three of them. Luckily, I've got a bigger lure, though. Myself, that, that thing, I wouldn't mark it anyway, there's only mackerel again. Nothing really here apart from fish. We found where the shoal went, or a shoal went. Right, there's always a chance that there's other things down there. Not more mackerel down there. More luck around each other. Chucking a little one in the back of the car. I'm going for the pollock. Right on I think I got a pollock this time. No, I haven't. Look at me go. Look, look, I got fish. Upgrade the size because they're a little bit bigger. 